Hey what's up guys and welcome to the Head Start Lab series Volume 5 on Music Production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that gets you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And all these videos were made from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real professional studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring sessions while in the program. Let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to the Head Start Lab series. Now in this video series, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to learn how to make a song absolutely from scratch in Logic Pro X uh, from beginning to end. So we're going to learn a whole bunch of different things like time signatures and drum loops and audio loops and arrangement and you know, pattern adjustments, dynamic and panning stuff, virtual instruments, of course, automation, EQ, how to export a mix and how to make a quick mix all in this video series. So definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more, definitely check out recordingconnection.com. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Now, the very first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do is think of a, you know, basically your time signature and key signature and tempo and things like that. Have that kind of already mapped out in your mind uh, because that's going to help you with the genre of music that you're doing. For example, if you're doing dubstep, you're going to want to go ahead and increase this to BPM 140 or around there. Uh, if you want to do electronic or pop stuff, 120. Uh, of course, a uh, key signature is going to depend on uh, obviously your playing skills, what, you know, what scales you know, and things like that. But of course, also your vocalist's um, vocal range. You know, what range do they have? And of course, the time signature is also going to depend on the genre. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and keep all this standardized. We're not going to go ahead and change any of this. We're going to make a very simple song. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is think about a drum pattern or drum patterns. Uh, this is going to basically help you uh, make your song more dynamic in different ways. It's going to add a, a, a level of progression to your song and a different mood as your song moves along. So let's go ahead and start out by creating a new instrument. We're going to go to software instrument, hit create. By default, it gives us a classic electric piano. I'm going to delete one since we only need one. And I'm going to click out of this library folder right there or bin and we're going to go down to our instrument rack or virtual instrument rack and select our ultra beat we're going to go ahead and just do a simple stereo cool here we are and I have a really good idea of what I, I want to do with the song uh, so let's go ahead and go to our drum kits go to depth machine and we're going to start making uh, you know, start dragging in our sequences and get our song started. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I know I want this very first sequence. And I also know that I want it for four measures. I'm going to go ahead and select sequence number two. Put that into our arrangement. And this one I want to go ahead and do for 10 measures. Okay. Whoop. And to loop, of course, you want to go ahead and grab your initial loop at the top right hand corner and start dragging along. Awesome. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Beautiful. Let's go to sequence number three. Throw that into the arrangement. I only want that for two. One, two. Cool. Let's go ahead and move over to sequence number four. We'll do this one for eight. There's four. There's six. Here's eight. Let's go ahead and go to sequence number seven. We'll do this in four, eight as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. So now we have 32 measures right here. Awesome. And we're going to go ahead and pull sequence number eight. Awesome. And we're going to do this one for 16 measures. Cool. There's eight, I believe, <laughs> 10, 12, 14, 16. Cool. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to do some copying and pasting as well. So I'm going to copy measures one through 32. And I'm going to paste that right here. And I'm going to copy this right here. Oops, I'm be careful with that. Go ahead and copy this. 
where I wanted to end is that I wanted to end at 112 measures. So our little drum pattern, which will be the end of our song, which should be around three minutes and 40 seconds, give or take a few seconds. Let's go ahead and check that out. And if you want to just uh, check that, you just go to bars and beats. So here we are, three minutes and 44 seconds. Cool. Nice. Uh, so this is going to be our drum pattern. So this is what we're starting off with right now. Hopefully you guys are following along at home and we're going to go ahead and move over to our next section in the next video, which is going to be all about audio loops. So I'll catch you guys on that video. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.